nowadays is you're getting down that wall so much in the offensive zone that the forward's got to be so aware to keep pucks in a couple of instances of that on that opening shift. We saw both Jaeger and Chibrikov covering for defensemen on both sides of the ice on that last sequence. Jets forechecking in the Vancouver zone. Romani, middle of the ice for Vancouver, gets it right wing to center for Riley Patterson. He'll clear it into the Winnipeg zone. Dawson Barteau back to it, banks it off the boards and out to center. Sawyer Minio back to it for the Canucks. Try to pass, but deflected all the way down. It's icing again. 310 penalty minutes last year. In just 54 games in Norfolk in the ECHL. I would say it's efficient, but that's, I would say that's hard to do. <laughs> in the modern game, absolutely. And you imagine he will be a physical presence in today's game at the very least. Canucks breaking out here is Vilmer Ulrichsen to the Winnipeg line on left wing. Delays on the half boards, backhand pass to Klimovich, centering feed, top of the crease. Ty Mueller was there, couldn't jam it home. And back to center for the Jets is Ben King. Try to pass ahead, it's tipped back into his own zone. Dimitri Kuzman with the puck, scored the overtime winner against the Flames on Friday afternoon. Dumps it behind the Vancouver net. Kudryavsev, far side. Played it ahead for Josh Bloom, couldn't clear the zone. Held in right wing by Brad Lambert. Lambert in the right wing corner. Battling for the puck, Kudryavsev in there as well. Get some help from Cooper Walker, but it's knocked free behind the goal by the aforementioned Mark Lewiski, who's then taken down in a tough battle by Kirill Kudryavtsev. Officials stay, or the whistles stay in the pockets of the officials, I should say. And now here come the Canucks to center with speed. Glover right wing, right to the goal with a shot right on and a good right pad save by Di Vincentis. Delayed call against Vancouver on that sequence as one of the Jets was felled into the end boards. Canucks will touch the puck, and Winnipeg gets the first power play of the afternoon. Mitchell line mates in this case. Dimitri Kuzman gains the offensive zone for Winnipeg, carried to the corner, comes to Shibrikov left wing. Try to pass into the slot that's broken up and cleared all the way back down the ice by Ty Mueller. 45 seconds left in the Winnipeg man advantage. No score, Canucks and Jets from the Young Stars Classic in Penticton. Now here's Chibrikov into the Vancouver zone, dumps it to the end boards. Pressured behind the net by Felton, knocks it free right point for Salomonson. Play it back down the right wing. Chibrikov cycles to the end boards. Comes to Kevin Key behind the net for Jacob Julian far corner. And now back to Salomonson of the line. Elias Salomonson, left circle, Brad Lambert. Back to Salomonson, wrist shot through traffic. But Ty Young tracked it well through the Trying attempt. to deflect it the first time in this game, really, that the Jets have had a little bit of traffic in front. They've had some point shots, but Vancouver's done well to clear that net front. Jets win the faceoff, dying seconds of the power play. Salomonson with a long range shot, and there was traffic again, but Ty Young makes the save with a glove hand and holds on for the whistle. Young here at his third Young Stars Classic as a member of the Vancouver Canucks. Was on a very good Prince George Cougars team last year that lost in the WHL West Final to the Portland Winterhawks. And I think as a goaltender, especially if you're not playing every game in this tournament, you're getting your first, arguably, your first look at game action. Mm -hmm. To get a few saves early is always a good feeling. Jets win the draw again. Here's Chibrikov. Nice move into the slot. Waits and shoots, but he fired it wide to the target. Young might have got a piece of that off the knob of his stick. Bloom is out of the box. Canucks are back to even strength. But the Jets are still buzzing in the Vancouver end. Mueller wins a battle on the near side. And Dylan Anhorn and the Canucks clear it up ice. And we'll try to get in on the forward check. Ty Mueller, right corner, battling with Hunter Mayo along the boards. Alrickson gets it free to Kudryabsev, right point, long shot, blocked in front. Rebound for Klimovich. He swept it off the outside of the net and chases it down again in the right wing corner. Daniela Klimovich, right point. Down the boards for Christian Felton. Centering pass into the slot for Sawyer Minio. Tried to wind and fire, lost the puck. Alrickson gets it, fans on his shot, now does get it through, but missed the target. And the Canucks continue to work on the forward check. Good play by Klimovich to dive and knock the puck away from the Winnipeg defender Hunter Mayo. Here's Danila Klimovich. Left circle for Christian Felton. Down into the corner. Tight angle. Shot held out by Di Vincentis. And Felton he'll get in to whistle. help out. Arshti Baines leaves for Kirill Kudryavtsev in his own zone. Kudryavtsev played it ahead. But Felton couldn't clear. And Kevin He has it left corner. Back to Zalati at the line. Nice pass left circle. Brad Lambert to the net. Backhand feed. Top of the crease. Young made a save. On the initial tip play by King, then he was after the rebound, and Young held that out, too. Jets hemming the Canucks in here. They haven't been able to clear the zone. Zolotti at the left point. Wrist shot towards the goal, blocked by Kudryavtsev, but held in by King. He's got it on the right wing for Winnipeg. King behind the net for Brad Lambert. Out the right wing side, watched by Cooper Walker. 
Lambert turns and fires from a tough angle. That deflected off his stick and went through the crease and out the near side. Now he gets it top of the point. His wrist shot deflected off Cooper Walker. Actually hit the skate of Brad Lambert as he was trying to screen in front. Canucks clear the zone, but only momentarily as the Jets dump it back in. Yeah, good, good puck movement from the Winnipeg. Most recent couple of chances. You want to make sure those loose pucks are secured, and Young's done a really good job of doing that. Canucks want to face off of the Winnipeg zone. Leckermackey with a quick shot off the draw from the right circle. Held out by DiVincentis. It was a big rebound there. Canucks couldn't get to it, though. And now it's Dawson Barteau behind his own goal. Clears it far point. But it's held in by Atu Ratu. Arshdi Baines on the forecheck after it, but Barteau chips it. Now Minio, outlet pass to Leckermackey at center. Stood up by Kuzman, who lifts it back in wide to the net of Ty Young. Christian Felton, far corner, pushed hard into the end boards by Kevin He. Jets have the puck in the offensive zone. Ben King, left point for Kuzman. Makes a move around Leckermackey down the boards, but Minio knocks it free. Canucks have a chance for a three on two to center. Ratu, right wing for Baines, leaves for Leckermackey into the Winnipeg zone. Attempted a pass to the left circle for Ratu. Anticipated and intercepted nicely by Elias Salomonson. And now Brad Lambert's back up the right wing with a hard shot from a tough angle into the Vancouver zone. Young makes the save. He holds in right point. To the far corner for Brad Lambert. Battling with Ratu. He in to help out. Cleared it back to the point, but it comes out to center. And the Jets will clear it back in. Minio with a little bit of time. Both teams completing changes. Got it ahead to Arshdi Baines. Now here's Leckermackey with speed right wing to the Winnipeg line. Lost the puck as he tried to make a move on Hunter Mayo. It's cleared to center and then Alcos dumps it back in. Mayo for Winnipeg on the breakout. Holding onto the puck. Gains the red line on right wing. And again, the Jets will try to establish their forecheck, which they've done a very good job of thus far in this first period. But this time the Canucks are able to break out. Ratu to center, turn the puck over. Trying a drop pass, and here's Brad Lambert back in on the right wing, top of the circle with a hard shot. Young fought it off, off his blocker, over the glass and out of play with three minutes left in this scoreless first period. Shows the importance of backtracking, right? Like, I mean, obviously back checking is something that every coach is going to preach, but you hear so much more of it now. And this opportunity by Lambert is all because he sticks with the, the, the Canucks in Winnipeg zone. They've been able to create. And they win the faceoff. Here's Patterson, high slot, long wrist shot, missed the target. Kudryavtsev able to hold in on the right side. But dumped it down the boards, and it's Dylan Anhorn with the puck. Clears it to He, right wing, into the Vancouver zone. Kevin He couldn't contend with a rolling puck, but Kudryavtsev couldn't clear either. He got it back, attempted a pass that was broken up. Now he holds in. Left wing for Ben King, near circle, back into the slot for He. Try to take it out his backhand, gets it on the far boards, and turns and fires from a tough angle. Ty Young. He opened up for that one timer very quickly. A quick developing play. Now here's Romani, left wing into the Winnipeg zone. Quick shot right on target. Stopped by DiVincentis. King collects the rebound and clears it back out of the zone. Kudryavtsev ahead for Romani. Lost his footing. Got it ahead to Max Sasson. Driving wide on the right wing. Stops at the hash marks. Back to Felton. Long range wrister along the ice. Handled easily by DiVincentis. Sasson again for checking right wing. Puck comes loose. Behind the goal for Patterson. To the left point for Sawyer Minio. Wanted a shot pass into the slot, but Ben King tipped it away. Jets can't clear. Felton on the right wing. Driving wide on He to the corner. Cycles below the end boards, or below the goal line for Sasson. Driving out front to the side of the net, into the crease. Couldn't jam it home past even Chentis. And the Jets get it out to center. And gain the Vancouver blue line. Here's Lambert with a nice move. In the slot, try to drop pass intended for Zolotti, who couldn't contend with that well, and the Canucks clear it out to the Winnipeg line. Kevin He back in on the right wing. Minio after it near corner, steps out of the way of a hit attempt. Brad Lambert gets it, throws it through the goal mouth. And Misselbacher's after it on the left wing. Push to the boards in a battle with Danila Klimovic. Now Sasson gets it loose, but knocked it down with a high stick as he's right wing for Lekermacki. Into the Winnipeg zone, winding into the slot, try to pass to Ratu. He couldn't settle it. And the Jets turn off ice, chance for another odd man rush. It's Lambert, right circle, wait, shoot, scores! Brad Lambert with the patience and the quick release beats Ty Young, blocker side, and the Jets take a 1-0 lead. Couple of rush opportunities for the Winnipeg Jets in the last couple of sequences when the three-on-two doesn't click because of the real nice diving play by Kudryatsev. A turnover high in the Winnipeg Jets zone by the Canucks. Sends Winnipeg back the other way, and Lambert's been dangerous throughout every period he's played, and this one notices he's got some space and wants to be able 
to sell that pass as a, as a threat. So he's able to cut into the middle of the ice and he just uses that little bit of a space, little curl and drag into the top corner. The 20 year old former first round pick of the Jets back in 2022 scores his first goal of the weekend after picking up an assist in the win over Calgary on Friday and the Jets who carried the play throughout most of the first period open the scoring early in the second and they're back to work in the Vancouver zone uh, Ty Glover's got the puck behind his own goal near board no, sorts and back to it stretch pass to center tipped in deep by Cooper Walker as Devin Chentis leaves his net there's it high around the glass for Kevin he far boards can't get it out past Arnson but following up and getting it to center is Dylan Anhorn now here's Lambert right wing to the Vancouver line long shot low to the ice stop by Young rebound in front made a second save on an opportunity right at the top of the crease for Ben King and it's Ty Glover back the other way for the Canucks with speed right wing carries behind the Winnipeg net try to center and pass deflects off a stick high in the air and Glover lays a hit on King near side they're gonna call it a penalty as King was trying to settle the puck not sure if he touched it yet when Glover hit him Kudry Absev touches the puck and we'll get the signal from the official here interference is again, the decision. with 20 seconds left in the Winnipeg power play it's one heck of a block by Pedersen they never feel good especially I don't know if that one really caught him in a shin pad or anything but now tough block Chibrikov left corner for Kevin he into the Vancouver zone back to Brad Lambert top of the left circle dying seconds of the power play to Shipperkov right circle he scores Brad Lambert impacting the game again with a nice setup for Nikita Shipperkov who scores his second here at the Young Stars Classic and gives the Jets a 2 nothing lead the seeing eye pass by Lambert is what, what sets this up it was Chibrikov that had the great opportunity for the Jets early in the first period cut into the middle of the ice this one it just kind of works its way over to that left wing boards Jets do a good job to win the battle to get it back to Lambert and Lambert just from the top of the left circle slides a backhand pass across the ice through a seam and Chibrikov just tees off on it sends it in the top corner just past the glove of Young second of the tournament for Chibrikov and it comes on the power play with just three seconds left in the penalty make that two seconds left in the penalty to Ty Glover but the Canuck defenseman plays it free for Vilmer Ulrichsen and now left wing into the Winnipeg zone for Ty Mueller Mueller battling for the puck instead it's King that gets it back out to center Klimovich intercepts for the Canucks and drops near side for Vilmer Ulrichsen Ulrichsen makes a nice move to gain the line is stood up by Hunter Mayo and it comes back behind the net for Dylan Anhorn. Anhorn threw it up the far side. Mueller holds in. Comes back to Arnson. Nice pass. Left point for Pedersen. Now to the right circle. Ulrichs in centering feed. Klimovich couldn't tip it on target. And Pedersen rims it back behind the Winnipeg net. Ulrichs in on the right wing boards. Nice reverse hit there on Anhorn to hold the puck. Now Pedersen, left circle. Pushed to the boards by Lambert. Puck comes around to Arnson, right side. But it's knocked past him out to center. Here's another chance for Brad Lambert. Left wing into the Vancouver zone. Shot right on. But Ty Young is there to make the save with the glove and hold on. Chance comes at the end of another strong shift in the offensive zone for the Vancouver Canucks. And by the time the puck is cleared into the middle of the ice, Lambert, as we know, has a whole bunch of speed to burn. But it's at the end of a long shift where you're defending. So he's not quite able to get that corner turned. And Vancouver doesn't. You expect a push from the Jets here with under three minutes left in the second after seeing the 2 nothing lead evaporate. Elias Patterson in his own zone try to bank pass to center. It's tipped all the way down. Icing waved off. Kuzman back to it. Ratu hot on his heels on the four check. Can't come up with a pack now. Here's a three on two to center for Winnipeg. It's Brad Lambert again. Drops left wing Kevin. He long shot and Young just got a piece of that off his left shoulder. She pushes him or tried to push him into the Winnipeg bench. Now the puck was dumped back into the Vancouver end. Now here's Mueller to center for Klimovich across the Winnipeg line. Long range shot kicked out by Devin Chantis and taken by Dylan Anhorn behind his own goal for Ben King up the near side gave it away middle of the ice Cooper Walker towards the net fired it high and wide on the stick side Kuzman drops it to Lopen it into the Vancouver zone back to Kuzman center he pass into the slot he had Misselbacher going to the net but it's Leckermackie with it instead lifting it to center for Ratu who dumps it in. Brad Lambert behind his own goal pushed to the end boards by Ty Glover. Glover sticking on that four check knocks down Lambert 
Jets get it out to center nonetheless. Jaeger pinned to the boards by Arnson. Bloom dumps it back into his own end. Just five seconds left in the period, so that should do it. For a middle frame that was certainly more eventful than the first period. And Elias Patterson already with a goal today has room to skate it. And play it to Aturatu. He'll reverse back into his own zone for Christian Felton as the Canucks complete the change. Minio off the bench. Left wing to the red line, dumps it in. Ratu's after it, right corner. Left it back for Felton with a long shot, and Beans tipped it wide into the far corner. Leckermacki leaves for Minio at the left point, sent it down the wall. Bartow breaks up the cycle and goes behind his own goal for Ben Zalotti. Zalotti up the near side for Lambert. Heavy rink wide pass picked up off the boards by Kevin He, driving wide around Felton, forced behind the net. But King follows up, gets the puck back to Bartow at the line. Long shot blocked in front by Minio. Rebound collected by Lambert in the left circle. Trying to pass back to the point, broken up by Ratu. Sends ahead for Leckermacki. Chance for a two on one. Leckermacki back to Ratu, right wing with a quick shot. DiVincentis made the save, let out a rebound, and didn't know where it was. But it was picked up by Lambert, and the Jets clear into neutral ice. Vancouver the jumper Albrechtson's used his size to his advantage, both physically and in the offensive zone. Now here's Anhorn with a rink-wide pass puck thrown to the goal off the right wing by He off the bench, and Young made a good save off the pad. Sasson to center for the Canucks, dumps it in. DiVincentis out of his goal to handle. Plays it into the far corner. Josh Bloom after it of the forecheck. Lost it to Hunter Mayo. Mayo around to the near side. Anhorn gets it up the boards. Kevin He lifts it all the way down the ice, and Kudri Abtsev wins the race with Ben King. It's Canucks win the draw in the Winnipeg zone. Leckermacki behind the Jets net. Centers for Ratu. Threw it into the crease. It bounces high slot. Minio tried a shot blocked by Lambert, and the Jets have numbers to center. He left wing to the Vancouver line. Centering pass. High slot. Settled on the backhand by King, who shot it off the outside of the goal. And now here come the Canucks the other way. It's Leckermacki leading the rush on right wing. Gains the offensive blue line. Dumps it behind the net. Baines and Ratu will go after it of the forecheck, but it's Lambert who comes away with it. Clears to the point, not out. Held in by Alcos. Try to feed to the left circle for Ratu. That he tipped to the corner and now rims it around to Baines on the right wing side. Arsgee Baines tied up on the wall with Solomonson, and that allowed Lambert That's to keep play by Bloom because if he doesn't do that, Jets have Jaeger all by himself on the other side of the ice. Just a little chip pass to him, and he's in by himself. Lambert battling for the puck inside the Vancouver line. Got it back to Kuzman. Throws it into the right corner. Ben King after it. Pinned to the end boards by Ratu. Lambert cycles it free to Kuzman of the line. Stood up by Leckermacki. Uh, it deflects off a stick to Minio. Stretch pass up the right wing. Leckermacki missed it, but icing is waved off, and Ratu's after it left corner. Pushed into the boards by Salomonson. King back to get it for the Jets. Goes middle of the ice for Kuzman. Then off the glass up the near side, and a slow roller goes back into the Canucks zone. Minio pursued by Kane by Jets back to Kuzman from the line, who ripped it wide of the net. And Josh Bloom for Vancouver will lead the rush to center, lifting it high in the air to the Winnipeg line. Glover on the forecheck. Battling on the end boards with Salomonson, comes up with the puck left wing side, winds up the wall, protecting it on his backhand, leaves for Arntzen at the point. Joe Arntzen. Goes behind the net for Josh Bloom. Now for Glover. To the far corner for Sasson. Tried a centering feed. Glover missed a one-timer, but Felton holds in on the right wing. Christian Felton to the near corner for Max Sasson. Throws on the brakes. Bottom of the right circle. Fanned on a shot attempt, but lifted the stick of Solomonson out of his hands. Jets are away to center nonetheless. Lopinen impeded a little bit by Felton as he tried to break away. Now lays a hit on the far side right in front of the benches with speed to the Winnipeg line. Top of the circle, fanned on a shot as he's pushed to the corner by Mayo. Comes back to the line for Klimovich. His long wrister goes wide of the net. Jets get it out to center. Klimovich has it at his own line. Quick up for Felton. Back into the Winnipeg end on right wing. Tried a shot. Bounces off a stick and is collected middle of the ice by Kevin He. Play it ahead for King to the Vancouver line. Couldn't get it deep though and Ulrichson is back the other way for the Canucks. He'll chip it in. Salomonson, far corner. Gets it ahead to Kuzman. Gave it away. It's sent out front for Ulrich. Sent to the backhand. He scores! Nice hands in tight for the big man, Vilmer Ulrichson. 
scores on the backhand to extend the Canuck lead to two. And Vancouver taking advantage of the fact Winnipeg not able to get a clean zone entry and Vancouver comes back the other way. We talked about Ulrichson using his size. He's able to do it here as this puck comes down to him. He's got that position on Salamonson and Salamonson's not small himself, but Ulrichson able to stick that body out and no matter what reach Salamonson has, it's not going to be enough. Completing changes, just over six minutes remaining third period. Canucks with a 4-2 lead on the Jets at the Young Stars Classic in Penticton. Salomonson back to the puck behind his own goal throws it up the wall Riley Patterson chips it deep Cooper Walker tied up on the wall by Salomonson got it back to the point now Alcos with a shot from the near side missed the target after receiving the pass from Kudryavtsev and he'll hold it at the left point where Kirill Kudryavtsev for Patterson down low now back to Kudryavtsev with a shot from the line deflected wide and Riley Patterson's after it right corner. Jets break up the cycle. Kevin He goes behind his own net, but Kudryavtsev pinches in from the left point and keeps it alive down low. Here's a centering pass in front. Alcos sneaking in from the right point. Couldn't receive it cleanly as Cooper Walker tried to find him in front, and the Jets get it out to center. Walker dumps it back in from the red line. Trying to spend as much time down there as you can, try to get some momentum, generate some chances, and if one goes, you never know. We've seen one two-goal lead in this game get a race but obviously time is of the essence if you're Winnipeg right now Kuzman at his own line after the Winnipeg faceoff win centered up the right wing Julian to the net to the forehand and Young kept the pad down to hold it out nice power move to the middle of the ice from Jacob Julian nonetheless and the Canucks are able to clear under pressure Bartow left wing for Lopin bounces it in on Young he'll block it and play it safe just to the bench it'll be six on five for the Jets but the Canucks break it up. Romani's got it at his own line. Try to wind to center. Just possessed by Julian, who's back in on the left wing. 2.45 left in the third period. It's Vancouver 4 and Winnipeg 2 as Lambert goes to the goal. Lopinen tried to find him out of the corner. It was tipped back to the line where Selimonson tried a shot that was blocked. Now Kuzman holds in left point. Throws it down the near side. Lambert battling for the puck in the corner. Lost it to Alcos, who's content to fire it all the way down the ice. It goes wide of the empty net. Young's been able to stand tall. Face off to the left of the Vancouver goaltender. It's Walker and Jaeger on the face off. And Jaeger wins it back to Salomonson. Down the right wing board. Centers for Barlow with a shot. It hit a crowd of bodies in front. It's cleared all the way down. A slow roller is going to miss the net and be icing the club. And as the Canucks win the face off in their own zone, and Kudryavtsev gets it high off the glass, this will go all the way down and miss the net again and be icing some. It can be done. It can be done. Canucks win the draw. Kudry Avsev tried to get it out of the zone. It bounced off Salamonson and into the Vancouver. Really band. riding them right now. Sasson wins this face off though. Back to Pedersen. Near side for Arnson. Clears it ahead to Sasson. And he makes it to the Winnipeg line, but there's Braden Yeager with the puck. Winding back up the right wing with speed. Fanned on an attempt to clear it deep. Salamonson follows up ahead to Yeager and he'll dump it in on the backhand. Arnson near corner. Try to hard rim around the glass. People looking around, I don't know where. Salamonson ahead for Lambert. Rink wide left wing for Kuzman with room to skate to the Vancouver blue line. Driving wide on Felton. He poked the puck off his stick, forced him to the corner. Chiprikov after it down low, pinned to the boards by Arshdi Baines. 25 seconds left. Minio, Barlow, Jaeger all in the fight for the puck as well, but Baines doing a good job keeping it tied up along the end boards, and now we'll get a whistle. As a result. Almost like it was moving around, but not very much. Obviously, the whistle here putting that puck battle to bed. Canucks come up with a puck. Here's a chance for the empty net. Just fired wide by Cooper Walker from inside his own Pressure zone. Pressure in on the Winnipeg Jets and took advantage of some great opportunities. And that is going to do it as the Canucks.